beautiful, elegant, enchanting, amiable, dazzling. These and more are words that can be used to describe Senator Daisy Ehaniri Danjuma, wife of distinguished and very successful businessman, General Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma, who clocked 6 to 5 on Sunday, 6 of August 2017. At 6 to 5, the very beautiful Senator Daisy Danjuma still looks refreshingly young, with a glowing complexion that is the envy of many women her age. Little wonder she was the center of attraction at her birthday party held at the Eco Hotels in Suites, Lagos. Senator Daisy Danjuma, a law graduate of Amadou Bello University, Zaria, with over 40 years of post call experience, began her career as a state counsel in the Lagos State Ministry of Justice. She was a pioneer legal counsel to the Legal Aid Council of Nigeria before working for the investment bank Nigerian Acceptance Limited. She spent the next decade as company secretary and legal advisor to the Nigerian Television Authority NTA before moving into private practice. In 2003, Senator Daisy Danjuma was elected Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria where she served in numerous committees, most notably as Chairman of the ECOWAS Parliament's Women and Children's Rights Committee and Senate Committee Chairman on Women Affairs and Youth Development. It was a rich convergence of the cream de la cream of the society, as they came out in their numbers to celebrate the beautiful Daisy Danjuma. Guests included the Governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Ajumobi and his wife, Mrs. Florence Ajumobi, Governor of Ogun State, Senator Bikula Musu and his wife, Mrs. Olufun Shamusu, Senator Ben Maribros, Senator Lorunimbe Mamura, Dr. Osagi Ehaniri, the elder brother of the celebrant, was there with his wife, former governor of Ekiti State, Otumba Niya Dibayo, former governor of Ogun State, Chief Olushegun Shoba and his wife, former judge of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, Justice George Oguntadi and his wife, Mrs. Mudukbe Oguntadi, former Minister of Defense and Chieftain of the All Progressives Congress APC in Lagos State, Chief Dimola Seriki, politician Prince Adeshegu Niru. Other dignitaries from the business world present at the event were the Managing Director Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria, Mr. Osagi Okumbo, richest woman in Africa, Mrs. Falonu Shalakija, Chairman Fort Oil, Mr. Femi Otedola, Founder and Chairman Honeywell Group and also Group Chairman FBN Holdings PLC, Dr. Oba Otudeko. Founder of Hairs Foundation, Mr. Tony Lumelu and his wife. Businessman, Chief Barrister Dumo Lulu Brakes. Executive Chairman of Nigeria Airline Limited, Chief Musa Danjuma, who is the younger brother of the celebrant's husband. Former Chairman Skybank, Dr. Tunde Ayeni. Business magnate, Captain Hosa Okumbo. Astute businessman, Chief Dr. Mike Inegbese and his wife. Chief Ulua Kinkube, Nigerian businesswoman and fashion enthusiast, Haji Abola Shagaya. Nigerian lawyer and philanthropist, Chief Chris Ogubanjo. Irilu Abiola Dosumu, CEO Biscon Communications and owners of Biscon TV, Prince Bisio Latilo. CEO and publisher of Ovation Magazine, Mr. Dili Momodu. High socialite, Abba Folawiyo. Royal fathers at the event were the Abba of Lagos, His Highness, Obarilu Anakiolu, among other royal fathers. The celebrant was on her feet most of the times, greeting and attending to guests who came out in their numbers to celebrate with her. The exquisitely decorated hall was filled to the brim as the celebrant, Senator Daisy Danjuma and her husband, General Theophilus Danjuma, hosted guests to a buffet at the Eco Hotels and Suites, Lagos. The dance floor was declared open to start the event as the celebrant rocked the dance floor with her husband. It's 
Thereafter, they were joined on the dance floor by a league of friends. A point of attraction was the Oba of Lagos, or Barilwan Akulu, who showed all his dancing skills and moved in a way only befitting of a king. In the goodwill message of the First Lady of Nigeria, Her Excellency Aisha Muhammad Buhari, who was ably represented by Mrs. Join Nune, she described the celebrant as a special being who she will forever remain indebted to. She wished the celebrant many successful years ahead and God's guidance in all ramifications of her life. She would have been here, but she's back to London and she asked that. Um, I tell everyone that General Danjima and Senator Daisy Danjima have been there forever for herself and her husband. And she wants me to thank them very, very well for all their love and support. In fact, she's called like five times. Mrs. Amosu arranged this cake and we've all been speaking with the wife of the president who insisted she's called. We've taken photographs to send her, and she says, make sure you tell everyone how nice Auntie Daisy has been to me. Auntie Daisy is special. I can't even say what she's done for us. And I want to say thank you, Auntie Daisy, on behalf of Her Excellency. She wishes you a very, very, very happy birthday. And she's asked that God should bless and reward you for all her, your, your love and support to her especially and her family on behalf of herself and the entire Muhammadu Buhari family may God bless and keep you in Jesus name Amen This was followed by the cutting of the special cake sent to her from the First Lady of Nigeria Her Excellency Aisha Buhari She was joined by her family and close friends to cut the cake Please put your hands together for her daddy The toast to the brainy and beautiful celebrant was next, and it was conducted by the wife of the governor of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shamosun. Enchanting, beautiful, dazzling. I mean, can you borrow me some words to toast this beautiful, distinguished auntie, as I like to call her? All I can say my beautiful distinguished auntie may your days continue to be merry and bright and on that note if you could please join me in filling your glasses while we raise a toast to this dynamic amazing amazon today as she turns 65. and so we're toasting to our distinguished dazzling Auntie Daisy today at 65 toasting towards her good health long life happiness continuous blessings with her husband and her family may her children continue to gather around her table may you continue to age gracefully and so, if you join me in, in this toast towards Auntie Daisy. Happy birthday, Auntie Daisy. Happy birthday. Yeah. Okay, to the celebrant. Can we give a three 
Can we have three happy chairs? Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. So the son of God. She's a jolly good fellow. She's a jolly good fellow. She's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. The highlight of the event was the showering of encomium on the beautiful celebrant Senator Daisy Danjuma by her friends colleagues and in-laws who all eulogized her in very soothing words pointing to the fact that she's a simple unique elegant and exemplary woman in the society the elder brother of the celebrant dr osage haniri who is the minister of state for health spoke on behalf of the family in his goodwill message he prayed for the celebrant and wished her many years ahead this is not supposed to be a speech making evening but we shall not let this opportunity go uh, to say happy birthday to uh, sister on behalf of the Ihandere family of Benin, where she comes from, where she was born and where she grew up. And to tell you that we are very happy and very proud of you and of your achievements and we pray that the good Lord continues to bless you and provide for you your husband your children and we wish you very well we love you very much happy birthday Senator Itagiwa on behalf of the Nigerian Senate wished the celebrant God's blessings in all her endeavors I rise to stand here and congratulate my friend, my sister, and actually my distinguished colleague on her 65 birthday. I congratulate her on behalf of all the female politicians, the female senators of this country. And I must say here that Senator Danjuma, as a female, was able to combine her career as a lawmaker, a housewife, and a mother. And it's only women that can do that. And that is why more opportunities should be given to the women of this country to be empowered so that they can put this country right. I thank you and I thank God for your life. And you should get back because you are a good mobilizer. You are an amiable, a fantastic lawmaker when you are on the floor of the Senate. And I think that since you are able to combine all, you should progress on your political you know, career. Thank you. God bless you all. The governor of Ogun State, Senator Bikula Musu, in his goodwill message, said he is proud of the celebrant. As she has represented the Senate as well, he urged her to continue to be herself and wished her a happy birthday. Say the floor, but I'll just say something about a uh, distinguished senator Daisy Danjuma. You know she sits directly behind me. So that got us close. In fact, just like all of us, you know she's attracted to all of us. And you will see that there's really nothing that she will not want to even go out for you, for any one of us. So thank you. You have represented us well. And I know that that is why all of us are here. Look at all the people that are here. I mentioned to them when they interviewed me, I said not about even having money or having the wherewithal. You are at peace with yourself, and I pray that you will continue to be like this. You can have the money, and you are not even at peace with yourself. Continue to be who you are, and I know that even when you are 90, 95, 100 years, you still look beautiful the way you are. So, well done. Senator Lauren Imbe Mamura and Senator Musa Adede, former colleagues of the celebrant, described her as one of the best senators who knows what she wants and how to get it done adding that she's passionate about women in the society they prayed for her and wished her good health and wisdom to succeed in all her endeavors senator daisy danjima was a friend to everyone in the senate the senate class of 2000 
and very to 2007 and uh, she was easily one of the best in that senate and uh, she was very very thorough with her presentations either on issues of bills or motion before the senate she did her homework thoroughly before coming to the floor to make presentation and um, we all, were all attached to her somehow. In fact, she was one of the champions of um, affirmative action for women. She was so passionate and of course, despite leaving the Senate, she is still pursuing that course. To speak on behalf of all senators, not ladies, not men. So for those of us who are senators and who are here present, I'd like to congratulate our distinguished colleague. But most of all, for those of us who have known distinguished senator for over 35 years, and I speak for all our friends, we have a code name where we say Asenkwiti. Asenkwiti. Thank you very much for your love. We wish you good health. We wish you wisdom. We wish you tremendous contentment because that's all you need now. In the goodwill message of Professor Emeritus Akikunwe, he said he was delighted celebrating with the celebrant. He prayed for her and wished her the best in life. Well, let me just say how delighted we, my wife and I, have been to come all the way from Ibadan to celebrate with Daisy. I know all the Haniris, so virtually all of them. From Mrs. Falope to Edugi, a baby, and of course, Daisy. And I can say confidently they are all it's a very delightful family. And I must congratulate the general now that they are celebrating. This is a good year for celebrations. So I'd like to especially say how delighted Daisy we are to celebrate this with you. It's often said that 65 is the old age of youth and is the youth of old age. I have no doubt and I'm a clinician so if I prescribe that you will go up to 100 you, nobody in this room can challenge that. And I can see General nodding that it has to be. So once again, Daisy, congratulations from all of us. Many more years. Thank you. Olori Ladun Shijuade spoke on behalf of the in-laws. In her message, she described Senator Daisy Danjuma as a consistent, understanding and insightful person who has a unique way of dealing with situations. She also prayed for her and wished her blessings in the years ahead. The governor of Oyo State, Senator Abiola Jumobi, eulogized the celebrant in glowing words. He described the husband of the celebrant, General Theophilus Danjuma, as a nationalist who has contributed immensely to national development. He thereafter prayed for her and wished her well in life. It was dancing galore as DJ Koopi and the Vintage Band dished out danceable songs to the delight of the guests who danced the night away in merriment. From Biscon Communications, it's happy birthday to the beautiful and brainy Senator Daisy Danjuma.
Oh, oh, oh. 